Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Cut the Tape. I hope you're all somewhere safe and washing those hands. Today, I thought it was appropriate for us to cut the tape on something a little different. We've done a lot of different things on this show. We've done Masterpiece, we've done some third party, we've done a little bit of the R.I.D. But today, along with my assistant, what's your name, assistant? Casey. Along with my assistant, Casey, we thought we would film something perhaps a little more appropriate. So this is Apocalypse Berg, Lego set 70840, 3,178 pieces of Lego Movie 2 goodness. That's for ages 16 and up, so I don't think you're allowed to do it, Casey. But we'll give it a go. How many characters does this have with it? Twelve. Twelve minifigures. All right. Casey, let's show them the box. That's the back of the box. Now, I got this set almost a year ago for my birthday, and we're only going to cut the tape now on it. So, Casey, go ahead. Grab the blade. And we're going to cut the tape. One, two, and three. Well, let me show you how to had a, a little better technique. You take the blade, right? And slice it open like that. Well, the, all right, so that's one. All right. Oh. oh, yep. You shouldn't cut towards yourself, so let that be a lesson. Let me see your hand. There's no cut. You just pinched yourself. <laughs> Bag number 17. I don't know if that's bag number nine or number six. Bag number 11. And it keeps going, number eight. This is number 18. Bag number 18. Oh my gosh. That's another bag 18 because one bag 18 is not enough. There's another box inside. Uh. Yep. Oh. A... All right. Is there anything else in there? Yeah. Okay. So, yep. Display the box that way. Hold the camera still, like that. And, um,. So we have 18 bags. Why don't I cut the tape? Remember, always cut away from yourself. And we have bag number one. So we'll put that aside because we, we definitely need bag number one. All right, what else we got? Stickers. Look at, look, look at this instruction booklet. This, this is, I'm not kidding, this is a booklet. Look at all those stickers. This is a, this, this is a book. I've written books thinner than this. Bag number five. There's another bag number one, because one bag number one's not enough. Number four. Two. Number, number one goes. There's probably another bag number one in there somewhere. Bag number seven. Number seven. Four. Over there. Five. Five. And two. And 
to. All right. Um, we have 15 minutes to put this all together. You think we can do it? All together? The whole thing? Let's see how far we got. All right, so instead of being in our secret lab downstairs in the basement, we're actually upstairs because we need a, a, a space where we can do this, right? So, keeping the camera still, let's take a look at these instructions. This is a book, as I said. That's huge. That is huge. So they put a box inside a box for stability so that the box uh, doesn't get crushed in. All right, so this makes the larger box more stable. We got a ton of stickers. Really, really fun stickers. And we got a book. 18 bags. 18? 18 bags. So inside, this is, this is really neat. So they have, uh, they talk about the film. They talk about uh, uh, the director of the film, Mike Mitchell. Uh, they talk about the lead concept designer at Lego, Joel David Baker. All right. I have a bunch of friends who work at uh, Lego, but I don't see any of them in this picture. But you know what? There's a bunch of uh, there's a there's a bunch of people here from the Lego group, and this is really special. You know, imagine if you had a transformer, and it had all the designers, the concept artists, the packaging guys. Everyone that, that came together to make an incredible product like this. Capturing the details. There's a brief overview of the figures. And because Lego is very popular, of course, it's in French as well. <laughs> Un lugar cerca de la cafeteria. So, in a place close by the, uh, by the cafeteria. I guess is where their where their office is. Daddy. I think Mike Mitchell's the director of the film. So uh, let's keep going. We're at bag one. Let's... All right. So we've been working all through the night. As you can see now, it's daytime outside, and we're just done bag one. And uh, this is this is what we have so far this giant base thing. So we have, um, we have two bag twos, all right? So we're gonna start building and uh, we'll speed up the video. Um, but you wanted to say something about Lego? At one time, um, when we were building, when we were watching a movie and we built a Lego, um, we got a, we got a message from a, the Lego company that they liked our Lego set. Right, so we got... Uh, and it's Ripley's birthday. And today is our dog's birthday, Ripley. Dog's name's Ripley, cat name's Bishop. Figure it out. He's four years old. He's four years old. All right, bag two. Two bag twos. It's uh, day 245 of quarantine, and we had to eat the dogs last night. As you can see, we've continued building our 
Apocalypseburg. So far, these are all the extra parts that we have. We'll find use for them. So, with that being said, we have uh, two bags of number three, because one bag of number three is not enough, and it looks like each bag has another bag inside of it. So, let's, um, let's get building. Go ahead and open those bags, Casey. <clears throat> Day 612 of trying to build Apocalypseburg. At this point, I'm convinced if at least 50% of my kids can survive this, then I'm in good shape. You never know when I'm gonna need a kidney. So this is what we have so far. <clears throat> this is bags one through five. And this actually splits apart very easily. So this is what we'll be working on right now. This is bag six or nine, it doesn't matter. You say bag six, but usually there's like two bag sixes because one bag's not enough and then there's all these little bags inside. Let's open these up. Looks like there's a character inside. All right, that you ready? looks like Chainsaw. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's Chainsaw Mike or whatever his name is. His name is Chainsaw. Chainsaw Dave? All right, whatever. Chainsaw Dave. Chainsaw Dave. Let's start building. my first child and I'm on my backup child right now this is Maddie and Maddie's gonna help me with Apocalypseburg I do love the the guts of it the infrastructure of it it's just built so well if you were to drop this parts of this aren't coming undone that's what I love about about the interior of this I know there, this this has a lot of new parts this set yeah. Oh, yeah, you, there goes Batman. That doesn't open, but, all right, Maddie, look. Look, this is what we're gonna do. So we're on this side over here, okay? And we're gonna put this up here, look. What is that? That's a frog. Ew. All right, put this right here. Put that right, yep. All right, 
right, so here we are, um, year two of our quarantine. It feels like it's been two years. Um, and this is where we are with Apocalypse Bird. We're about to start bag number 10. Um, as you can see, Maddie has grown into a, a much older child. Now she looks like, like Casey. Stop. Um, <clears throat> so let's, uh, let's try and get this done with this century. So bag number 10. Um, a couple other updates since the last time we've spoken. Um, I've been able to shower, which is great. Um, I, uh, I haven't shaved or cut my hair yet, uh, or brushed my teeth. I'm not going to do any of those things until this is all over. So, you let's, brush your teeth? let's move on. <clears throat> of course I brush my teeth. All right, let's move on. Here we go. Stop playing with the figures. It's time for business. It's business time. That's why they call it business time. All right. bag 17 and Casey is somewhere behind all of this there she is these are all the extra parts we have so far a good chunk of uh, a good chunk of parts uh, this is how much of the book we have left we have uh, bag 17 and then there's two 18 bags so we're gonna start building bag number 17 give you a quick tour and then the next time we check in uh, we should be done so we have uh, this whole section we got to build and the, uh, the torch. I got to say, building the head of the statue is probably the best uh, build I've ever gotten to do, ever. Uh, so I, you know, as I said, this was my birthday present from uh, last year. And uh, I love the fact that Casey and Maddie built it with me. But... I had to build the head by myself because it was just that was that was my treat to myself look at that look at the detail on that that is beautiful and i'm a big planet of the apes fan so this one's definitely going in a glass case when we're done all right <clears throat> we've still got a bunch of stickers left too So this is the last segment of the Apocalypse Berg build. We're gonna give you a little tour. There's Emmett, he's always happy. This was a lot of fun to build. This has been my favorite Lego set so far, uh, of any Lego set I've ever built. So we have Unchained Coffee, we have a police station, then we have the Weapons Depot, 
and then like a haircut barbershop slash tattoo parlor. And then we kind of have like, this is like Batman's lair up here. And then we're going up Statue of Liberty. There's Lucy. And just look at the face on that. Just look at the face on the Statue of Liberty. I mean, it, it just came out so perfect. I couldn't be happier with this set. Spin it around. I think what we need to do is build this out even further. Make some more apocalyptic buildings. I think I'm going to take some Star Wars sets and some Lone Ranger sets and maybe mesh them together. So this is a, a diner. And look at all these little like compartments. These are all like cars that are like repurposed. So this is a car. This looks like a, like a train caboose. There's going up the Statue of Liberty. So if you look over here, these look like they're cargo containers. And then if you look in here, that's another car that looks like a, like a old Volkswagen that you would put your surfboard on. Look at this guy. He's still angry because he can't find his pants. And Green Lantern's just happy to be here. Harley Quinn. This is one of the coolest Batman figures. This is a Apocalypse Bird Batman. I'm Batman. Casey, what did you think of this? I liked it. Took a couple days to do, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm deciding what our next big set's gonna be. We either are going to build the Ghostbusters headquarters or we're gonna build uh, London Bridge. London Bridge? Yeah. London hopefully, Bridge. Hopefully it doesn't fall down. So, Casey, do you wanna say anything? No. No? Okay. Just look at that. Look how awesome that is. I love it. It's such a fun build. I definitely like apocalypse stuff. And it's appropriate. So I hope you're safe. I hope you're uh, doing well. If you have bacon, please send bacon. We're out of bacon. And that was it.